Let's try something different today, folks. I'd like for you to take a moment and think about a vSAS service, video surveillance as a service product offering that is 100% cloud-based, records both locally and to the cloud, records continuously in the cloud, right? So not even not based on motion, right? It's just recording continuously 24-7 to the cloud, has the ability to alert you to video analytics events that are happening at the edge, as well as motion-based events that are happening on the camera, and requires zero open ports on your firewall. Take a second. Okay, you got it? That's right, Genetech Stratocast. So in today's video, I'm actually going to show you how easy it is to take a commercially off-the-shelf available camera from the supported device list, connect it to the internet, and start recording in the cloud. For those of you keeping track at home, yes, this is a Bosch IP camera. It is the NBN 63013-B. I'll throw a, I'll throw a, a link to its uh, product page down below. It is a Bosch Starlight 6000 series box camera. Thank you, Bosch. So why use video surveillance as a service and specifically why use Stratocast? Well, there's a few reasons. First reason non-proprietary. There are plenty of VSAS products on the market right now, but none of them use non-proprietary equipment. Or to put it a different way, you need to buy something from them in order to make it work. So either you're buying a video surveillance camera that is, uh, you know, proprietary. It can only be used on that uh, closed ecosystem. And the challenge there is if, you know, today it's a good uh, opportunity for your business to get involved in, in a video surveillance as a service product. But five years from now, you may not like that product anymore. Then maybe that company was acquired by another company or the company went out of business for whatever reason. What do you do with these cameras? They're, they're bricks now. So that, that's a challenge. Whereas with Stratocast, these are commercially off the shelf available cameras from a wide variety of manufacturers. If five years from now, you no longer like Stratocast, you can pivot those cameras to some other video management system. Uh, shameless plug, should be Genetech, Omnicast. But even if it's not, you can put those cameras on any commercially off the shelf available video management system and be able to record them just fine. Stratocast also requires no additional gateway services. So it's literally camera to switch to router to cloud and no ports on the firewall need to be opened at the end user site. And that's really important because in, in today's day and age where we're all really concerned about cybersecurity, why have to punch additional holes in your firewall and give a cyber criminal another vector into your network? The way that Stratocast is configured is it's meant to pump video out 24-7, 365, continuous stream. So there's no having to set up motion events or motion detection. You certainly could, but it has no bearing on the recording. It's always recording. Okay, so how many times, even in a traditional video management system, have you set up motion detection only to find that, you know, if an object is too far away or the object wasn't quite the right size or, you know, for a whole host of reasons, the motion that you wanted that system to pick up just didn't pick it up. Well, gee, I should have just been recording continuously. And there are a ton of services out there that will record uh, based on motion events. But again, if it doesn't capture the motion, it doesn't record it. With Stratocast, we're recording 24-7, continuous stream. Now, if you want to configure the camera to deliver you motion-based events, we can do that, uh, but it's not required. So I can go on and on about feature after feature after feature, but really in today's video, all I wanna do is show you how simple it is for you to take a commercially off-the-shelf available camera like this, connect it to Stratocast, and be recording video in minutes. So let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, you gotta log into uh, Genetech Stratocast and there's two portals. One is the end user portal and the other is the, the dealer or the integrator portal, which is what I'm logged into 
right now. So uh, if I were a systems integrator and I was managing one account or multiple accounts, when I go to log in, I'm logging in here. And uh, obviously what you can see here is a health dashboard. So in the health dashboard, we're gonna show you all the different health events that could be potentially happening on your Genetech Stratocast system or systems, right? So if you have multiple clients, that have multiple cameras each, if a camera drops offline or is having some sort of a, a local health issue, we will tell you that here. And that gives you the ability to, you know, kind of get a bird's eye view without having to click into each and every one of your, your end user accounts. You can get a really good understanding of what's happening here. And as you can see, there's a ton of other features that have been added over the last few months. If you want to pause the screen here and read these, that's, uh, that's fine with me. So from here, to add a camera, we're gonna to go to our clients area and you'll see I have Phil's demo camera here. So I went in and I created a client account, not very difficult, just you know, entering basic information. We're gonna manage our cameras. We're going to enroll a device and it's gonna ask you, what type of device are you gonna add? I'm gonna add a video unit. What's the name? Bosch demo camera. Who's the manufacturer? Bosch, next authenticate the video unit. So it's gonna ask me for the MAC address of the camera, which through the magic of the internet, I've already entered. So now it's connecting to the service. So literally what's happening right now is the camera has gone out over my network, has connected up to the Microsoft Azure service and said, hey, I'm here. And the Stratocast service is listening for that type of event and saying, oh, I see you. And I see this, uh, this integrator account is attempting to access you. Let's make this marriage happen. So take this activation code and bring it over to your Bosch IP camera. So let's jump over into the Bosch camera's network interface. All right, so I've logged in to the Bosch uh, network camera. I'm in the network uh, area under advanced and you can see there's a special section here called Stratocast. I'm literally going to paste my registration code and hit register, connected. Would that take 30 seconds? So now let's jump back to Stratocast. So now that We've entered that information in the Bosch IP cameras network configuration screen. The marriage has basically been made in the cloud in the Microsoft Azure Center. And now we're just waiting for the service to be completed. And there you go, it's done. Now, select your plans. We can talk, we'll talk about plans in a different video, but you've got three to choose from. Basic, standard, and premium. For our purposes today, we'll choose standard. We have our retention period, which is seven days, which is, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it there. You could extend it here if you'd like to. Uh, hit next. Actually, I'm gonna go previous. I'm gonna choose the basic plan because this is only a 720p box camera, so no reason to go higher than that. How are you gonna record? Continuous or on motion? Choose continuous. Like, why would you ever choose on motion? And then choose your resolution. I'm gonna go 720p because my camera can do 720p. And also notice here, I have the ability to throttle the throughput. This is a big challenge to any video surveillance as a service platform. Well, how much bandwidth is it gonna take up? I don't have unlimited amounts of bandwidth. Well, check this out for a 720p camera. We can give you a fantastic looking image at 150 kilobits per second continuous. And we could bump that up if we wanted to, to 300 kilobits per second and give you a really, really nice image or crank it all the way down to one kilobit per second if you really wanted to. I'm gonna leave it at 150 just so that you kind of see uh, what that looks like. And then choose your frame rate. Five frames a second is the max on the basic plan. You can get more frame rate uh, in the standard and premium plans. And I'm just gonna hit enroll. That's it. It's done. Like literally, that's it. Uh, I probably spent more time talking about how it would be set up than the amount of time that it actually took to be set up. So let's click on it and see a preview. And as you can see, it's actually brought us to the end user 
uh, side of the house. So this is uh, a very similar interface. Oh, my, my camera's a little bit out of focus here. Uh, this is a uh, similar interface to the integrator portal, but this is designed just for the end user uh, specifically. Had to get the focus just right, otherwise it really would have bothered me. In fact, I'm gonna move the camera now because I don't know about you, but I hate watching myself on camera. But now if I actually wanted to view the camera, where would I do that? I would click the, the button there that says view. And I have a number of different options here. So I can view one tile, two tiles, four tiles, or six. I only have one camera, so I'm only gonna view one tile. And uh, if we just click and drag and bring that into the, uh, into the screen here, there you go. So now I have my Bosch camera that I connected to the Stratocast service, and I'm looking at video right now. Where would that take us? Two minutes, maybe less. Um, because I just hooked up the camera, I don't have a ton of recorded video yet. Uh, but just like in Security Center, we've got our timeline. The purple is the future, it has not occurred yet. Uh, and then anywhere where you see white means I've got video recorded. So if I click back here, I'm now in playback and I'm watching video from uh, from a few seconds ago. And I could even click on this button here and, and just do a, a basic time and date search. There are a ton more search capabilities inside of, uh, inside of this tool, uh, which I'll save for another video, but I just really wanted to show you today how easy it is to take a Stratocast camera from the box to the service. So we're really just scratching the surface here. I'm gonna do a bunch more videos on Stratocast and sort of do uh, a deeper dive. So the next one's gonna kind of go through the interface a little bit more, show you what the mobile application looks like. And then in a future video, we'll talk about federating a Stratocast system. So a cloud-based system with an on-premises version of uh, Omnicast of Security Center. So now, if you could imagine, I can take an enterprise that might have, you know, a campus with a couple of hundred cameras and a bunch of smaller satellite locations. And each satellite location, rather than putting in some wonky gateway device or having to put in a full-blown server to record locally and then federate those systems back, I can literally deploy Stratocast cameras streaming at an incredibly low bit rate, recording continuously in the cloud, and then federating back to Security Center for centralized management. But I want to be really clear here. As I mentioned at the outset, there is only one video surveillance as a service platform that is 100% cloud-based, uses non-proprietary, commercially off-the-shelf available video surveillance cameras that records both locally on board the local SD card of the camera, just check the supported device list to make sure that that's supported, as well as in the cloud, records continuously, still gives you your motion-based uh, events, as well as your edge-based analytics, so long as the camera that you choose supports those analytics, and requires zero ports to be open on your firewall and sets up in literal minutes. So what do you think, folks? Are you ready to see more about Stratocast? Are you ready to dive into the, to the world of video surveillance as a service? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if I missed something, if you want to learn something new, if you have any uh, feature requests for an upcoming video or you, uh, something that you want me to cover specifically about Stratocast in, in the next couple of videos. My name's Phil Coppola. I'm the regional sales manager in the great state of New Jersey for Genetech. If you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the video to receive more great content like this. And we'll see you on the next one.